Hey everyone, this is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you this new book I got from Dana Fox called Watercolor With Me in the Forest. It's a watercolor workbook, so it shows you how to actually complete the different pieces she has in here. And the paper is actually made of like a heavy stock watercolor paper, so you can just start working right in the book. There's a whole bunch of different things. There's flowers and little animals, um, stuff I guess you would find in the forest, and lots of different levels. It also tells you which colors she uses and then has your supplies and all the instructions for every single one. Um, I'm very beginner, so I actually had to go out and purchase some watercolors to use for this, so I grabbed these off of Amazon. Um, I think it was $10 Canadian and it just has 15 basic colors which is what I wanted for this because then I could just pick out um, different pages and then at least have some colors to work from. So I'm sure they're not the best quality but they were fine for what I needed them for and I just grabbed this plastic palette to mix the watercolor with water. So as you can see there's lots of cute different pieces you could do. Some of them look harder than others so I tried to stick to the easy ones. So to show you just what this book can do, I started from the beginning where she lists um, basically uh, what you'll need for the whole workbook and the different techniques that she goes over which includes wet on dry, wet on wet, painting fur, and ink and wash. So I'm going to just try just a few things from the book to give you an idea of what you can do. Uh, these are the two brushes I use most of the time. I did grab another one that is a finer brush for one of the last things I did. But basically you want a round watercolor brush. So I'm starting with the wet on dry technique here. Each chapter has a first page that has just some exercises for working with the paint and then when you go into the chapter you have some of the the prettier things like the animals and the flowers so I'm just giving this a shot and since I don't normally do watercolor this is all new for me but it has all the instructions on the right hand side so it's pretty easy to follow even for a beginner like myself Okay, so now that I've gotten used to trying out the wet on dry technique with uh, Dana's exercise, I'm going to pick something to actually work on and I chose this ladybug because it looked pretty simple. So I just grabbed the two different shades of red that I have and a black and then filled my palette with those. And again, it lists the supplies below the colors and then on the right hand side it has step by step what you need to do uh, like the layers you need to do first what sections you should work on and I also did let this dry in between colors uh, as instructed but I don't show the drying time so there is some drying time at some points as well
so that's my finished ladybug compared to Dana's on the right it's not as nice but this is my first time trying so I'm moving past the wet on dry section you can see on the bottom the pieces that belong to the wet on dry section so I really like how that's organized I'm gonna try the wet on wet this is the exercise that you can try first before getting into the different art pieces so I'm just going to use the instructions to try this out by putting water on the page first and then the watercolor. Okay, so that was wet on wet and now I'm going to try the ink and wash because I thought this looked really cool. I like the mix of the watercolor with the micron pens. So I'm going to show you how I try to replicate Dana's design and just let it play from beginning to end. So I think the ink and wash is my favorite. I like I like kind of coloring outside of the lines and I liked using the black ink marker. So I'm going to try doing these berries with the ink and wash as well. And uh, I'm using the green that I have that's closest to the green Dana suggested and then this brown color and then I'm using the red that I had used for the ladybug earlier. So I didn't follow the instructions very well on this one. Um, you're supposed to have this sort of really pretty green wash in the background that I didn't do, but it was written there and I just didn't read it. <laughs> Anyways, it still was fun and uh, I still really enjoyed doing the ink and wash with this piece as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of the watercolor book that Dana put out. I'm sure she put a lot of time and effort into this because it is really beautiful and I think basically anybody at any level would enjoy this. It kind of feels like the adult coloring book but in a watercolor format which is really nice so it's kind of a nice activity to do if you just want to relax and if you don't know anything about watercolor I did find that this was really helpful and taught me some different ways to use watercolor that I 
wouldn't have known otherwise. I'll make sure to link her Instagram below so you can check out all the beautiful watercolor work she does as well as where you can buy this book on Amazon and I'll link those watercolor paints that I bought from Amazon as well.